Welcome to a little suitcase lock. This fragile looking padlock was given to me by my son today because he was at IKEA together with my wife and found this lock and thought, yeah, I might like it. So let's have a closer look to it. Um, it's a three wheel combination padlock and a um, wafer tumbler. And this is actually a TSA lock, which means Transport Security authority and there is a number I believe it's um, indicating which kind of um, master key to use so it works in the following way that you um, lock up your luggage with this lock and you um, choose a combination that only you know but if it comes to an investigation so that your luggage needs to be um, accessed um, the authorities they have master keys and they um, can choose the right master key by this code, by this number, and then uh, can open up the lock. Okay, it's a cheap little padlock, a plastic uh, padlock, and you can see that um, it's, yeah, it's easily to um, get into with some force, but we won't, uh, we will not apply force to this uh, little lock. Instead, I wanna uh, first shortly show you how it works and then uh, decode it and pick it. So if I enter the right code, it's factory reset to all zero, I can pull on the shackle and that's the right um, locking uh, mechanism that you can just pull on the shackle and open it. Now when the lock is closed and the, um, and the master keys, oops, and the master key is used, then this side of the lock is operated and you can see the shackle is secured here in this um, in this metal portion but this has a, a gap here has a cutout and when you turn the the plug this cutout will also turn and then you can turn the shackle through this cutout and open up the lock um, yeah so that's how it works so now let's decode it first I change the combination so that I can open it now you can see there is a, a second uh, cutout here that I can push in the shackle. Then I can change the code. Just make sure that I'm at a number and not in between two numbers. Pull on the shackle, release and close it and shuffle the wheels. Okay. Now it's locked up and I don't know the combination. Let's see how much it takes to get into this lock. And for tensioning I will just use another lock. Alright, so apply tension and start with the, uh, with the last wheel. Feel resistance, that's good. And I have to say that it's not trivial uh, so you have to really take care to um, feel what's going on. I thought it would be much easier to decode this type of lock. But it's not. So maybe two. Oh no, maybe, maybe, maybe six. So you feel that the wheel is more loose at the right number, so I believe it's 6. But it's not a really good uh, click or so that you feel, like on other locks. Maybe it's because all is plastic inside, I don't know. Maybe 9 and it's open. Yeah, It's not really difficult, but it's um, more difficult than I thought. Okay, so now close it here. Now let's assume that um, we need to get access uh, with a key, but I don't have these keys, of course. Um, but I can try to pick it. So I apply tension here. It's a it's a simple um, master, not master, a simple wafer uh, wafer tumbler. Maybe you can shine a light in here that you can look inside. There are only wafers on on one side here. And so it's pretty easy. I don't know how many wafers, maybe three or so. Apply tension here and go in with my pick. 
and not much is really needed and it's open and now you can see how the um, how this portion here on the top turns So here it's closed and here it's open. Now I can not pull on the shackle, but now I can turn the shackle uh, to open up the lock. Yeah, so that's uh, that's how easy it is to get into these locks. Very nice present from my son, so thank you very much, Sebastian. And everybody else, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, little uh, TSA padlock, TSA002. Yeah. Thanks for watching, happy picking and decoding, cheers and bye bye!